previously on Hell's Kitchen. The chefs had to dig for potatoes. And then they were challenged to be creative with them. While Mike's dish left a bad taste in Chef Ramsay's mouth. Horrible. Joey's dish blew Chef Ramsay away. Absolutely brilliant. The victorious women had an amazing day on the ocean. Here's one. While the men were on cleanup duty. Oh, I'm my mouth. Then, at dinner service. It's not ready. Don't fucking open the oven. Chris and Mike butted heads on the fish station. Hey, 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 hey. I can't fix stupid. And found themselves in Chef Ramsay's crosshairs. Where's the crust? Uh, I didn't get Look it on. Get it on, man! Yes, Chef. While in the red kitchen. I've got one lobster tail raw still. Simone, listen to Chef! Simone's lack of effort. <laughs> It's funny now, right? There's just something, eh, bad stuff. Something's not right up here. Got under station partner Jessica's skin. Who's the damn oven? The duo had an early exit from dinner service. Congratulations for being the worst two cooks. And with more food being rejected at the pass than going out to customers. Get out! Both teams were thrown out of the kitchen. Guys, get down to I want three nominees from each team. Mike was an easy choice for the blue team. Go back to the grocery store, motherfucker! But he wasn't going quietly. Oh! Do not! You guys, if you hit him, you guys! You guys At elimination, the blue team nominated Mike, DeMarco, and Chris, while the red team nominated Simone, Rochelle, and Sandra. But before Chef Ramsay had a chance to announce his selection, Okay, Chef, I can go. Simone, good night. Simone took herself out of the competition, ending her chance of becoming a head chef and winning Hell's Kitchen. Continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Get out, guys. Fuck those hating bitches. The guys, well, I let them talk shit, point the finger at me, that's okay. I'm not gonna be all like, <gasps> like crying. I'm not gonna cry about it. Really? We're gonna keep Mike? You gotta be fucking shitty. I was pissed when he sent Simone home. No one wants Mike here. He's poison. Fuck a ball, fuck a ball. I'm better than that guy. I can fucking guarantee that. <laughs> yeah, you are. And if I had to go home and he did it, I'd fucking hang myself. Mike has to go. You know, with the jersey hair and his earrings and his attitude and his stupid dumbass uh, tattoo. He sucks. When you're on elimination twice, your confidence goes. I, I have to admit, I'm not 100% confident. My confidence isn't there, but it is now. It wasn't there. Don't ever say you're not 100% confident. You are confident. Scream at us Yo. right now. Ah! Show him, dude. Ah! Mike sucks! Yes! <laughs> All right, what happened happened, but this has got to go because if we're going to have animosity with Mike, we're just going to fuck up again. This is a team. Tomorrow's another day in the kitchen. None of this happened. Water under a fucking bridge. After three dinner services and three challenges, the chefs are all feeling a little more comfortable in Chef Ramsay's kitchen. Put a little more pep in your step. This morning, they are all eager to show him that they are worthy of staying in Hell's Kitchen. Let's go, babe. Sorry, Chef. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Chef. How are you feeling? Great, Good, Chef. Yeah. Right, the thing that's really bothering me after the first three services is the amount of waste. 
you're creating in Hell's Kitchen. The real reason why we've got so much waste is because of the lack of consistency. Last dinner service, we wasted 16 Wellingtons. Let me show you what it looks like to me when you screw up one Wellington. Oh. I just see money cascading out of the restaurant. Now, let me show you how much money you wasted from last night's service. Oh my gosh, look at all that money just wasted. And I'm broke as hell, so you know, I'm counting every penny. One cent, two cent, three cent. There's one more piece of scallop. Wow. There's a direct correlation between your lack of consistency and how much money you waste. Come with me, I want to show you something. Boy, Chef Ramsay, you're dramatic about making a point. If that's not a wake-up call that you're wasting the man's money, nothing is. OK, now it's time for your next challenge. All of you, you're going to be cooking a brand new dish, a stunning ravioli of lobster, OK? Watch carefully. Every single time I'm standing next to Chef Ramsay, it's an honor. Roll it nice and smooth. I used to watch videos on the internet of him cooking and just sitting there like, oh my god, it's so cool. Mushrooms sauteed. Everybody has their own way of doing things, but when you watch Chef Ramsay do it, it seems so much easier and simpler. Simple, elegant, but each ravioli consistent. Yes, chef. The first team that gives me 10 perfect lobster ravioli dishes wins the challenge. Yes, chef. You'll all be working in pairs. Blue team, since you have one extra person, the last team will consist of three of you, Gabriel, DeMarco, and Mike. This is not good. Those three as a group are clearly our weakest links. On your marks, get set, go. Behind, Let's behind, go. Behind, behind. After being disappointed by the chef's lack of consistency, Apron. Chef Ramsay hopes Apron. this challenge will instill in the chefs the importance of attention to detail. This one's better than that one. The first team to complete 10 perfect lobster ravioli dishes wins. Is there a sheet pan under there? Yep, you got it. I'm paired up with Jessica. Jessica and I are two of the strongest people on the red team, so I just hope that we can rock it out. I got four bowls, guys, behind. I want nothing more than just beat the crap out of them girls. In the kitchen, though, of course. Of course. I'm going to take this up front and start working pasta. Yes, we don't all three need to work on pasta, right? I'll make the mix. While the men get organized quickly. You got the mix? Yes. The women. Take our time. Take a slightly different approach. Roll, see what happens. Oh, put it back. Right here, right here. Easy, 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 slower. Go ahead, go ahead. The hardest part for Sandra and I was definitely rolling out the pasta. It's trying to go his own way. Come on, ladies, you should start by now. Don't waste all your time rolling the pasta. Come on. Yes, yes chef. chef. While the red team is hung up rolling out their pasta. Good, right? Yeah, let's go. The blue team's organization has paid off. All right, Jay, we can drop three raviolis. And Scott and Jason are ready to present their first dish to Chef Ramsay. Lobster cooked. Season. That's good. One. Well done. Well done. Yes! Is anybody else starting their sauce right now? I'm about to start mine right now. All right. Truffle butter lobster. Delicious. Come well on. done. Come on. Start Let's go. Let's start go. Start Let's go. Ladies, come on. We've got two portions up. Come on, girls. Come on. We're starting off really slow, and I'm concerned a slow start is not a good thing. Delicious. Good job. Thank you, Chef. Whatever system the men put in place seems to be working. Come on, boys. Keep going. Keep going. While the women... Beth, make sure that pan isn't too, too hot. We don't want to burn that onion. ...are still struggling to get their first dish to the pass. No, Beth, you, you got to do it the way he teaches us. Oil down first. Uh, yeah, my God. Didn't you watch the same damn demo I did? Joy and Beth, yes, sir. the sauce is just taking way too long. You only knew. While Joy tutors Beth on the pasta, Petals dry. most of the blue team has successfully moved on to their second round of dishes. Stay focused. No, just very little. The other pairs are uh, putting raviolis up at a fast pace. Delicious. Really good. Thank you, chef. Chef. All right, don't put too much, because we need it for just saute. But Mike just seems to hold us up. He doesn't do anything. He stands there. He's useless. Come on, guys. Delicious. Thank really you. good. Behind you. Walking with the first one. Where's your partner? Jessica, come. 
Wrong size plate. Come on, look. Come on, hurry up. Let's go. Hello? I feel like an idiot. Look at your fucking plates. Yeah, I'm sorry. It was a stupid mistake. Go grab a bunch for your side. Grab your own, chef. Delicious. Thank, Thank you, chef. Come on, girls. Come on. Girls, six to the blue team. This is a blowout. Yes, yes, yes. That's good. Well done. Good job. Finally! We got a point. We got a point. Bev and Rochelle have finally put the women on the board. And Melanie and Jessica are hoping to score with the replay of their first dash. Delicious. Good job. Thank you, Chef. They are quickly followed by Joy and Beth. Who made that? Me, Chef. Who rolled the pasta? Me, Chef. What did Beth do then? Support it, Chef. Joy, come on, really? I wasn't just standing there with my thumb up my ass. Delicious. Good job. Thank you, Chef. I'm pissed. It's not the Joy show. I'm just praying in my head, please let him like, please let him like. Delicious. Well done. Yes, Good job. Yes, another one. Let's do another one. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, guys. Nothing's coming out. We gotta hurry up. All I can hear is bells ringing coming from the red side. Come on, ladies. These guys over here struggling. Who made the raviolis? We both did, chef. Bing, another bell. Bing, another bell. Like, fuck, we got to get more dishes on. Delicious. Well Thank done. You, chef. With the red team having an amazing rally. Come on, let's keep pushing. The blue team's big lead has shrunk to just one point. Guys, nothing's come out for the last five minutes. Another batch is coming out. I'm going to drop the pasta. Hey, look at me. 90 seconds, 90 I'm seconds, timing. Chef. I'm watching you. If Chef Ramsey told me that, I'm standing there for 90 seconds waiting for them to be done. He came back over and started re-rolling raviolis that I already had done. More mushroom, more mushroom, more mushroom. We, you don't need to recheck them. They're done, bro. <laughs> Wow, delicious. Thank Great you, job. Chef. We are just on a roll. Delicious. Good job. Hey, Good Chef. DeMarco. Yes, sir. They've been in there now. Hey, yes, two sir. and a half minutes. Yes, Chef. Hey, how long are we cooking them for? Uh, cooking 90 them for 90 seconds. minutes. 90 seconds. So they're overcooked. Yes, Chef. DeMarco, Mike, and Gabriel. I have no idea what the fuck is going through their simple little minds. Push it. Push Let's it. Let's go. In spite of getting nothing out of the trio of DeMarco, Gabriel, and Mike, who made this one? We did both this. The men continue to be in a neck and neck battle with the women. Delicious. Great okay, job. Good. Delicious. Good Thank job. You, Taste. Delicious. Good job. Well Thank done. You, Delicious. Good Ready job. All right, guys, we need well one more. One more. One more. Ready? Ah. Go. Ravioli's coming. Let's go, guys. Come on. Come on. Someone else should be playing wow. right now. Good job. Good job. Delicious. Uh, red team, blue team, we're all tied up. Come on, one more, guys. Come on, let's go. We got this. We got it. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta go up as a team, guys. Let's go. Up as a team. Up as a team. With the score tied, the men can clinch a victory with the first plate delivered. Wow, wow, wow. Who made this one? By the team of DeMarco, Gabriel, and Mike. We all did together. Yeah. The question now is, does the dish meet Chef Ramsay's exacting standards? Pasta way too thick and it's not cooked properly. Oh wait, we're starting again. Damn it! You guys again? Yeah, yeah. He does. Come on, keep going! Delicious. Yeah. Well done! Yeah. Oh my god, we won this challenge. It is unbelievable. Fuck! Gabriel, Mike, and DeMarco. Oh, and what other goddamn plates went up there? I'm fucking pissed right now. If they were in my kitchen, I would have fired them. Line up the pass, please. And let's go. Ladies, congratulations. Well Thank done. You. For your very special reward, you are taking over a stunning Beverly Hills mansion <laughs> with breathtaking views overlooking the city, poolside, and your very own butler. Oh. I'm getting real pissed. You know, it's just getting on my nerves because we keep losing because the weaklings aren't stepping up. Uh, get cleaned up because your limos are waiting. Congratulations. Well done. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're all still level. Yes, baby. Blue team, let me tell you, I honestly thought you'd nailed that. And then the stupidity crept in. You had it in your hands. And Gabriel, DeMarco, and Mike, it was like dumber and dumber and dumber. While the ladies are lapping it up, living like the super rich, all of you are in for a miserable, miserable day. All of you are going to be stuck here, crawling around on all fours, cleaning all those pennies up. 200,000. Roll after roll after roll after roll. And by the way, first of all, you're going to clean and prep both kitchens. 
because I'm opening Hell's Kitchen tonight. Got it? Yes, yes chef. chef. Now piss off, all of you. 200,000 fucking pennies. That is really frustrating. While the men begin their punishment by cleaning the women's kitchen. We won, we won, we won. Yeah, yeah. The women are getting all cleaned up for their luxurious reward. You guys, we're gonna be in a fucking mansion poolside. Hell yeah. <laughs> this is this shit. With our own butler. I'm ecstatic. I've never been in a mansion before. I've only been in a regular sized house. Party time! <laughs> And clean all those pennies while you're at it. Woo! You all know how much they really hate each other. Yeah, we have a, a little more love. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. This is ours, you guys. Oh wow. Look at this oh. view. Well deserved, ladies. Oh, oh my god. god. Yeah! A year ago, I didn't even have a home, and today, I'm chilling in Beverly Hills at a mansion. Ladies, welcome in. Oh, wow. I feel like Fresh Prince went in. <laughs> what took you so long? Where have you been? I would like to welcome you to your private estate for the day. If you don't mind, follow me. Hi, tea is ready. Oh, yes. thank God. Hi, tea. Oh, yes. It's just amazing at the mansion. And I've like never had the privilege of high tea, as you call it. Hey, don't forget to put your pinky out when you drink your tea, OK? While the women are living the life of high society. Dude, damn it, man. Come on. Oh. The men are thoroughly frustrated by their predicament. Pennies. I gotta roll fucking pennies all day. 200,000. I'll be honest, dude. Mike and DeMarco, you guys are not helping your cause today. Sometimes you gotta trim the fat. You guys didn't do shit for us. What? Why? True. Were you at our station watching us? I should have been. One ravioli got overcooked, so it's, it's not my fault. Nothing's your fault, right? It's not your fault. It's not your fucking fault. You don't yeah, fucking do anything. it's my fault because I cook. You don't do anything. I didn't make any ravioli. All you do is get I didn't make any I didn't roll any pasta. Stop. All right, guys. Come on, guys. As temperatures rise between Mike and DeMarco, the women are ready to cool off. I know. We laid out pool five. Yeah. I don't see how rich people always get up and, like, go do stuff, because I would never leave. This feels so good, lady. Right now. Perfect. There's a camaraderie in the red team right now. We're strong. We just need to keep that momentum and help one another get through dinner service. Look at Sandra out there. Sandra just laid she out. She is in her boobies. element. Those boobies are keeping her afloat. <laughs> As Sandra and the red team continue to float on cloud nine, Mike and the blue team are drowning in pennies. So let me ask you guys, I had to mark up Mike. What do you guys think you guys were missing there? We need to communicate more. He doesn't want to work with anybody. Dude, you could suck my cock. Come on, dude, we gotta fix this, man. Uh -huh. Listen to DeMarco, he knows everything. I don't care what they think. The final word comes from Chef Ramsay, so they could kiss my ass. Fuck them. I'm asking everybody's opinion on what you thought it was. I'm not talking about the past. Dude, he's asking a question. Just answer the question. All this BS, it's gotta stop right now. Otherwise, tonight's service is doomed. Seriously, everybody could go fuck themselves. After a rewarding day in Beverly Hills, the women are back, rested and ready. We got to prove to the guys today that even though we had a nice, relaxing day, we could still kick their ass. And considering how disappointing the dinner services have been, both teams have something to prove. I've got to rock it out tonight, man. Yeah. Got to leave. Come on, ladies, you 90210 girls, let's go. Gents, line up, let's go. So far, we've had three dinner services here in Hell's Kitchen. And let's be honest, they've been disasters, yes? yes. That cannot continue tonight. So I am going back to basics and turning it tonight into steak night in Hell's Kitchen. I am the master of the grill. No errors whatsoever. Mark my words. Excited? Yes, yes. 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 Good. Tonight, we have to have success. Got it? Yes, yes. yes. Let's go, guys. This is an easy night. We can totally rock this out. And DeMarco, you gotta step it up tonight. I'm going to, bro. I promise you. This is probably my last chance. If we don't win and I don't perform, I'm going home. I, I have to prove to these guys that I can cook, and I don't know what it's gonna take to show them that. You just nail those salmons. You I nail will. them out of the park. I'm gonna kill them, dude. Everybody, say a little prayer if you need to. Stay focused. We're finishing service. All right. 
Jean-Philippe. Chef. Open Hell's Kitchen. Let's go. Oui, chef. It's steak night in Hell's Kitchen. And although the chefs only found out a short while ago, the customers are excited about the change to tonight's menu. Uh, I'll have sparkling. They are eager to try tonight's special menu items, which include a chopped salad appetizer and a prime rib entree, to be served tableside by Beth and Rochelle for the red team and Scott and Gabriel Hi, for the blue today, team. Uh, my name is Gabriel. How are we today? Lovely. Chef, first table. Excellent. Blue, you're out the gate first. Let's go. Four covers, table 12. Two salad, two ravioli. Away. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Ralph, nail that section. VIP table, let's go. Yes, chef. I feel very confident. You know, I want to be focused. I want to not miss anything. I want to show Ramsey what I got. Two ravioli, two salad. How long? I'm waiting on um, crab cakes. I need those crab cakes. There's not even a crab cake on there. <laughs> Fuck me. Really? Good job, Ralph. Can't remember. Blue team. He's asking for crab cakes. It's I don't know on. why, Chef. I don't know why, Chef. The first table. Come on, Ralph, please. I'll just be honest with you. I fucked up. What else you want me to say? You still waiting on that crab cake? No, there's no crab cakes on order. There never was. Oh, I thought I heard crab cake. My bad. Oh, my God. While the blue team deals with its first order, both real and imagined, over in the red kitchen... Ladies, watch this table, VIP. Vanessa Marcel, yes? Chef Ramsay is making sure the women are focused on the next order. Four covers, table 31, one salad, one ravioli, two sliders. Yes, chef! Let's go, ladies, please. Come on, then, Beb. Watch out, watch out. Watch out. Ravioli, go. No, this is for the sliders. Too much oil, way too much oil. Pour some of that out. Bev, she needs you to teach her at all the wrong time. Ready? No, are they done? They're hard. Look at them. Two salad, two ravioli. Come on, Bev. Here so, we go. Drop them, Bev. Walk them with ravioli. Your herbs. There's no salt in there. You're cooking raviolis with no salt. Bev, this is basic stuff. Yes, chef. My 10-year-old daughter knows his salt got to go in when she's cooking pasta. I made a mistake, I understand. But he kept yelling at me like I'm a kid. I'm the oldest on this goddamn team. Let's start again. While Bev tries to prove to her team that she's more confident than she's looking. Bounce back, Bev. Don't worry, bounce back. Over in the blue kitchen. How long for the ravioli? One minute and a half, chef. OK, let's go. Raviolis are in. Mike is trying to get involved in the service. Hey, you're, you're, flat, you're putting them down too quick, man. I didn't tell you. You said a minute and a half. It doesn't matter. I'll tell you to drop them. Ralph was trying to do everything, get the fuck out of the way, and let me do it. I can help it. I don't need help. Why is Mike not doing anything? Because nobody wants help, chef. What? I can't force somebody to help, chef. Get in there! Ralph, you got the big bear standing behind you. He's got to do something. Get your head out of the fucking sand. Yes, chef. Mike has had terrible service since day one. I wasn't going to let him lead tonight. Oh, my God. Raviolis right now. Ravioli, chef. There's no lobster. Hey, blue team, all of you, come here. Fuck. All of you! Yes, yes chef. chef. What's missing in there, visually? Crab meat. Cra crab. Lobster, chef. Lobster. You said crab. I meant to say lobster, chef. We practice these all fucking morning, and now it comes up. Minus the lobster. Get a grip. Yes, chef. Right now. Come on, man. Just keep that off to the side. While Mike and Ralph try to work together on their first appetizer order over in the red kitchen. Two salad, two risotto. Two salad, two ravioli. Three minutes out on risotto, two minutes out on ravioli. Joy is doing everything she can to make a good impression on Chef Ramsay. Joy's got it. Get this one here. Yes, chef. OK, drive them. Yes, let's go. Let that get hot. Let that come up. I need to prove to him that I can be a good leader and get us out the gate. Welcome to Risotto. Joy. Yes, Chef. Delicious. Thank you. Okay, okay. yes, Chef. Delicious. Well done. Thank good you. Girl. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. This is a feeling of relief. Red team. Yes, yes Chef. We're off to a good start. Yes, yes Chef. chef. Don't start celebrating. Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's go. With Joy proving herself as a leader. We're looking good, ladies. Appetizers are making their way out to the dining room. Unbelievable. This is so good. Much to the delight of the red diners. Meanwhile, at the blue tables. Hopefully, sooner or later, we'll be, we'll be getting our appetizers while everybody else is eating desserts, possibly. One chef is doing his best to distract the hungry guests. I'm going to clean this up, make sure that I have clean plates. Everything must go out clean. 
There we go. The rest of the food's not coming. I look like a dumbass, so I have to wait, I have to stall, and put their minds mainly on the conversation that was at hand. I've done a lot of banana fosters oh, in my day. I've burned off all my hair once. <laughs> <laughs> Please get the food over here. Please get the food over here. It's horrible. You gotta love table side. I mean, I you, you gotta love it. No. You can't rush perfection. I know the four covers table 23 in a way. Two salad, one crab cake, one ravioli. Now your crab cake's on fucking order. I need four minutes on a crab cake. These young guys can't get food out of the kitchen. I know I could do it. I mean, fuck, I've been cooking for 30 years. Crab cake walking, you guys ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, coming up hot. One rab walking. Hey, crab cake, stone fucking cold in the middle. The crab cakes are very simple. You just drop it in the fire. Any monkey can do that. It's not hard. Fridge cold. Man! I don't even know how the fuck he does that. He doesn't check the food before it goes up. God help the next person that gives me a stone cold fucking dish. God help anyone. How much longer, crab cake? Checking it right now. Make sure you pierce it with your knife, man. It's ready. I'm walking, guys. You guys walking? Crab cake walking. Are they still the same ravioli from before? No, no wait, chef. Uh, fresh. Two rabs. Oh, my gosh. Oh, fuck me. What? Stop! Uh, Stone cold again. You. Ravioli, watery. Bland, no seasoning, no thin herbs. Come on! Come on, guys. Fuck off! Hey, John. John, come in. Hey, you. Come here, you. Both you. Table 11. They've both got a little appetizer. And maybe a little Chardonnay. Yes, yeah? Chardonnay. Pinot Grigio. I want to know what it's like for you to eat stone cold crab cakes. Now, fuck off. Sit down. <laughs> I don't like getting belittled or berated. I'm too old for that shit. Sit down, Richard. I know you both want to go back there. As, as long as this is not finished, you won't go back in the kitchen. Yes, JP. Yes, sir. Anton, can you get those appetizers fired up? Because I'm going to flip my lid in a minute. Two minutes, chef. All of a sudden, I had to go over and make an order of risotto because Mike didn't step up. I think Mike's just had enough. Risotto's going. Sorry, right, chef. Finally. Service. With Anton answering Chef Ramsay's call for help on appetizers. Just keep talking, guys. Food is finally trickling out to the hungry diners. That was nice. Thank you so much for making sure. Meanwhile, back in the red kitchen. Incredible. Table 50, let's go. Appetizers continue to fly out to the dining room. Keep rocking, ladies. We're doing good. We're doing good. And now the women are about to tackle the steak night entrees. On order, two covers table 33, two covers table 40. Let's do them together. Entree, two prime rib, two fillet. Yes, 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 yes. Melanie, first table, don't sit back. I need five minutes, five minutes. Now that I'm on beat, we are definitely going to make it through tonight's dinner service, without a doubt. Mel, how long on that first entree? You could go now. I'm walking with two fillets. OK. Behind you? Yep. Melanie! Yes, chef. Great sear and great temperature on the fillet. Thank you, chef. Thank you. Finally, I get a little bit of recognition for my strong points. Her temperature is extraordinary. With Melanie excelling on the meat station. Service, please. Entrees are hitting the tables in record time. Wow. wow. Incredible. Truffle fries are my favorite. Meanwhile, on the blue side. Let's go back. Oh, let's down this first. Ralph and Richard are now returning to the kitchen to help the blue team begin firing entrees. On order, four covers table 23 and away. Entree, one prime rib, two fillet. Yes, chef. If we could just get these first fillets out, we'll be good. We'll be fine. How's that fillet? That's looking pretty fucking good. Not confident? Don't put it up. Yeah, I know. It's good. We're good? Yeah. Two fillets walking. Right behind you. Right behind you. I know how to cook a fillet. These are perfect. These are ready to go. Chris, come here, you. Fucking rare. Wrong. Come on. Can I have the one that is rare back in the fucking oven? Yes, chef. Her word is going down like the fucking Titanic. It's sinking, and it's sinking fast. We're backed up on the appetizers. We're now backed up on the entrees. I know, Where's chef. the redemption? Where's the pullback? Where's the comeback? Oh, my god. While the blue team tries to avoid going down in flames. Listen, you hear them guys over there? They're struggling. Keep flowing, ladies. The women charge full steam ahead. Keep it going. Yes, chef. Come on, One minute. Let's kick this chicken, baby. We're getting a kind of rhythm. Gorgeous. Everything was as it should be. All right, almost Thank ready you. with garnish. Show me when you're ready to walk. Walk in with a fillet. Right, and you, you got slide in a half with yeah. the You can get them all together now. They can be at the pass. The girls are over there. They're not like a fucking machine. They're like the Russian military. They're just all one fucking motion. Two fillet walking right now, chef. Nice. You guys ready with that 
chicken? Give me thirty more seconds. You need sizzle pans. Yes, please. I'll get you some. I'm getting this. I'm getting that. You know, I, it's just like insane. Two chicken shit. Put them over there, babe. Here's my the medium refire. Checking the chicken. Sandra and Keisha. Chicken cooked perfectly. Yes. You couldn't hear anything sweeter than that. <laughs> we got this. You guys need anything? We're OK right now. We're going to fucking finish. While the Red Brigade appears ready for their victory march. Ready? Hold on. Let me get got the it? sauce. I got the sauce. Come on, guys. Anton tries to rally his troops by delivering on the meat station. Let's move. Yes, 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 chef. Yes, coming through. Please, ready, chef. Anton, I have to acknowledge you, dude. I thought you heard me. I'm sorry. You can't just like run up like that like a jackass. Ooh, more stuff is done. Something's going up there. I don't give a shit about anyone else. The guy's just a stupid beast. Hey, meet you, man. My house comes out rare, and it's still cold in the middle. Easy steak to cook the fillet, and we're dragging the whole kitchen down. Sorry, chef. All of you, come here. They've got every appetizer out, and they've got, barely got three tables left. Look at you, come here, you fuckers. Other way. One, two, three fucking tables of appetizers still. Still. Clearly, we're in the shitter. We're not getting out. It's that bad. Why are they moving so fucking fast? As the men continue to search for answers. Garnish right behind, garnish. Last table, ladies, keep it going. We're finna walk now, chef. The women are on the verge of completing an excellent dinner service. Beautiful, let's go. Yes, yes. Ladies, come here. Come, come. Look at me. Well done. Melanie Joy, phenomenal. Thank yeah, you, Chef. Well done. I want all of you now to go into the blue team and get on every section and help them get out nine tables. Let's go. Yes, yes Chef. Yes. That was a gangster service. I mean, we even had to go over and help the guys because they didn't even know what the fuck they were doing. Uh, here we go. This is fucking bullshit. We're good over here. Go over there. Hey, right, blue team, the ladies are finished. They're in here now to wake you up. I don't I'm need finished. Anything. I'm good. Hey, shut up. You fucking do need help. Anyone that gives me a stone cold crab cake twice, trust me, you need help. Take the help. Run with it. The more help you take, the faster you can get out the kitchen. You got the salt and pepper in there already? Salt and pepper's in. All right. Jason, this one's going to need like three minutes, all right? They're really wrong. Look, we know what we're doing here. I'm don't... not saying you don't. Well, he don't told me to come here. Don't argue I know, but you always should have cut it. I'm just checking. It's that fire again. Of course it's raw. And then she's cutting it open, like, who the hell does that? You're just gonna lose, like, valuable, tasty juice. I just need to get this you know over cut it open. what the chef tells me. Did he tell you to fucking tell me what to do? No. Well, then get, get out of here. Don't push me with a knife. All right, move away. There's no need to argue. Why are you cutting it open? Because you're fucking tricking it raw. I know, because it's not a fire yet, you dumb little What? It's not a fire. It's not a fire yet. Hey, you yes. and you, come here. Ah, oh, shit. Are you fucking serious? To get in her face like that and yell, I don't know. Maybe his balls shrunk up a little bit because a woman had to jump on his station. Damn it. I just yelled in front of the kitchen and I owe the whole restaurant an apology. Look at me. Yes. I told Sandra to get on there. You may not fucking like it, but it's my fucking choice. So take it, shut the fuck up, yes, and put your head down. Yes, sir. Stay on the section. Yes, sir. OK? Let's yes, go. Sir. Yes, sir. Did I look scared for a minute when Jason got in my face? I don't freaking think so. He's all huff and freaking puff. Screaming in my fucking face. Just don't cut it open. I'm not gonna fuck up your chicken. I just didn't want the juice to leak out. That's all I'm saying. Okay. With Jason and the rest of the men now working oh, with the him. women instead of fighting them. Melanie, push him. Let's go. Perfect. Money in the bank. Yep. New York strips. Walking. That's good, right? Yeah, you got it. Sorry for the wait. The blue team's entrees are finally being delivered to their grateful diners. Melanie. Yes, Chef. Those New York strip are cooked beautifully. Thank you, Chef. Uh, nothing against any of these girls on the red team, but yeah, this is extremely embarrassing. That's it. That's the last one. They smoked us over here. Wow. What a nightmare. Finally, we had a respectable service from the red team. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you Chef. Chef. Men, I'm going to ask you all to do something you're very familiar with. Head up to the door, come to a consensus on two nominees for elimination. And fuck off out of there. 
this service was a fucking abomination. Disgusting. You have two guys per station and you still can't perform? Give me a fucking break. So where did things get hung up, man? Me and appetizers fucked us. What are you talking about, appetizers? Well, they were kind of slow. They That's what I'm saying. Slow, yeah. I'm not going to put out fucking bad risotto. It doesn't take that long, though. I don't give a fuck. I had eight risottos going at once, four fucking wraps, and I banged every single one out. And you were by yourself, so. I mean, Mike was there, swishing the risotto. Where is Mike? Mike just sat there. He gave up, guys. You can tell. So what are we doing? We put it on Mike? He's right here. Done. You can fight it all you want, but you're going up. It doesn't matter what I do. They're going to pick me anyways. So who was the other guy, guys? Mike and Richard. Me? The fuck did I do? The whole crab cake thing. I had one crab cake come back, dude. How many steaks came back? Are you kidding me right now? I think Anton was rushing a little bit. If you think I'm going to go up, you guys are out of your fucking minds. There's no fucking way I should be up there. What a fucking crock of shit. These guys, they're screwing everything up left and right. I'm the only one who hasn't had a problem all fucking time I've been here. I had one fucking bad day. How many bad days did you have? Two. How many bad days you have? Three. I was ready to cook all fucking night. I'm sorry, but you're not ready when you cook three fucking salmon. I understand That's that I didn't have a lot of food, me, but I was ready. Nothing, nothing was sent back tonight for me. Those guys just want to blame everybody else, never themselves. Fuck them. When you guys fuck up, you don't want to take the blame. Every time I fuck up, I say, yes, I fucked up. I didn't fuck up tonight. All right, so where's the most votes? Besides Mike. Ladies, great job. Thank you, Shadow. Ralph, first nominee and why? We picked Mike. He hasn't been here since day one. He's hiding behind every station. Second nominee and why? Second nominee is... DeMarco. Him again? We decided in the long run, he's just the weakest link for this team. DeMarco and Mike, step forward, please. DeMarco, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I should stay in Hell's Kitchen because I was ready tonight. I wasn't the weakest link. And I actually care to be here, unlike him. He doesn't care. I do. I don't want to be up here. I said I don't ever want to be here again. And I don't think I deserve to be. Mike. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Because when you finally convinced Ralph to uh, allow me to help him, we were able to start getting things rolling, Chef. Is that true, Ralph? No, he just stirred some risottos and, you know, he did a ravioli or two. I can't help somebody who doesn't want it, Chef. Why is there so little trust in you from your team? I have no clue. It's been a hiding game and it's been a finger pointing game since day one. If he would just man up and just take control of the station, it'd be one thing, but he hasn't yet. Chef, I, I, would, I would like to make a request and say, give them what they want. Take me off their team and put me with the girls. I think that they'll appreciate me a lot more than the men. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is? Mike, time to go. I definitely feel like I was the fall guy. I'm gonna have fun watching the guys go down because they're a bunch of backstabbing bitches. There's no camaraderie there. I will definitely forget about these guys as quickly as they chosen to forget about me. Blue team, no more excuses. Somebody get out there and lead quick. Get out of here. If 
felt good to come as a team and finish as a team, and we're gonna continue to show Chef we have what it takes. I will never quit. You can put me down on the ground every fucking time, and I get right back up. Mike, thank God, is gone. We have a solid core now, and the blue team is stronger than ever. We were a force to be reckoned with. There once was a cook named Mike. He couldn't cook fish or any other dish, so I told him to take a hike. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. Hey, shut your goddamn mouth and do your fucking job. Will bitter in fighting. Shut up and cook! You shut up and keep cooking faster. Push one chef out of the competition. Fuck off home. And when Hell's Kitchen hosts its first ever wedding ceremony, you are husband and wife. This is not wedding attire. Will wedding bells turn to a funeral march when one chef cooks up something so heinous? Oh, that's fucking gross. And so horrendous. I'm gonna love you. Uh-oh. It will make someone sick. That's it. Find out who's responsible. You're not manning up, bro? I'm not saying that we didn't have a mistake. OK, so man up. All next time on A Fast. Go, 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 go. And Furious. You guys go on. Episode of Hell's Kitchen. Get your shit together, bitch.